Hey everyone, and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida, and today it is Paycheck to Paycheck, my weekly check-in. So if that is something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so this is our Paycheck to Paycheck weekly check-in. I guess I'll use this side here. Um, and I want to go to a monthly view. Y'all, I'm slacking. I did not do a November budget. I had planned to, just didn't do it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've been all over the place since. So I'm going to go off of October. Okay, so I'm going to put my October calendar to the side so that I can check dates. Okay, so this is the week of, I think, November... Let me check. It's November the 14th through the 20th. Okay. And I shut down my Etsy shop. So I won't be putting that down, but I'll just put nails down. So our source is hair, Shopify, and nails. So if you are new here, I am self-employed. I do hair, nails. I run a Shopify, Etsy for my stationary business. And um, those are my sources of income. Sometimes I may sell old planners, things like that, but I do not receive a paycheck. Again, I am self-employed, clear across the board. So let's jump into our guesstimate. When you're self-employed, you have to kind of guesstimate you really don't know what you're going to make. So I try to stay on the low end. So for hair, I'm going to put $750. It may be more. I'm kind of thinking it's already been more. But anyway, Shopify, I'm going to put Zip. I have not do been doing any promoting, doing anything. I'm thinking about releasing something this week. So right now, I'm just going to leave it at zero because I'm just trying to get my momentum with the nails. With nails this week, I'm going to put... Um, 75. That's what I kind of been making. Um, again, if you're new here, I've gotten back into nails, so I'm just doing kind of practice sets. They're welcome to tip me. I do have some people who pay full price, but right now I'm just doing some practice sets and they are tipping. So that total is, I think I know this, but. Eight twenty-five for the week. Okay. All righty. So the bills due this week, you guys. I'm trying to remember everything. I almost forgot some bills. So we have on the fifteenth, Capital One was due. I already paid them, and that was okay. I gave them thirty dollars. Okay. And then on the 17th, I have Citibank. And I gave them 31. And then the 18th is Barclays. I've already paid these. Um, they just haven't come out my account yet. And they'll probably be coming out, what's today? Tuesday. They'll probably be coming out like Friday. And that's 81. I gave Barclays $81. On the 20th, I have my car note, and that's 181.60. Also on the 20th, I have my loan, and that is normally $96. I'm going to give them 100 And then also I have Shopify payment. That is $55. Y'all, let's hope we have enough. And they're going to take that on the 19th. And then my booth rent, that is due the 19th as well. And that is 200 And remember, my booth rent will be going up next month. So I really need to start putting the extra into some cash envelopes. I will be back to my cash envelopes. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've just, anything extra... I've been spending and supplying the nail business, so it is what it is, but I do try to save here and there. So let me do a calculation. Let me start over. Okay. 
The total is $678.60. We just made it. And I still feel like I'm forgetting something. But we're going to put down $678. I'm just going to leave it at $678, okay? And that's going to be our total. So, <clears throat> not doing anything towards debt. It's something I wanted to do. I want to put um, in my cash envelope here booth rent I want to put an extra ten dollars aside for the coming month um I've bought some nail supplies already this week so I need to be giving nail supplies something I'm gonna give them 20 because I'm trying to save up for something big um for that and um what else right now that's it so I've said in the past couple of videos that I realized I am not um, zero base budget. I could be. Um, I can zero base my budget out, but for real, for real, I'm not a zero base budgeter. So I like to throw that out there. And now I don't feel what's the word I'm looking for. I don't feel pressured to um, try to zero base this out and necessarily stick with it. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and you're self-employed like me and you're feeling overwhelmed to zero base your budget out, don't. Just it is what it is. <laughs> so um, that is that. Uh, let's see. Let's get to calculating. And, well, that's $30. And then let's do some more calculating here and see what we would have left. So we're going to take this six seventy eight sixty. dollars We're going to add the 30 That leaves us with seven oh eight sixty, dollars And then we're going to subtract that from $825. And we should have about $116 left. And that's pretty much on the accurate side. I'm going to put it down here in the comments. I mean, in the notes. Leftover. And that's pretty much accurate. Um, that leaves me with $116 for my miscellaneous items, things like that. And that's it, you guys. That is my budget for the week. Let me zoom out a little bit. And this works for me. Um, I apologize for not coming in, checking in weekly, but I've just been trying to balance it all, you guys. And I've told you I have to focus, and I've just been really focused on um, building my nail business and nail clients, and it's actually going pretty well. So, as you can see, I did not do nothing <laughs> to November. November is bare. I have not wrote anything down. I need to get in here and do that. But, um, yeah, so I will be back with some, I will be doing my December budget. I will be doing next week's budget. I'm a little late today, but I did want to get this out to you guys because I need to look at this budget. I need to stick to my budget. And I will be honest with you guys. Also, I wasn't focused on my budget where I check it at least daily. I wasn't focused, y'all. I had to pay the late fee on a credit card because I was not focused. So, Try to be mindful of your budget. Check it at least every other day. You know, maybe put some alerts on your phone. And I didn't have an alert on my phone for this particular credit card because it was a new kind of credit card that last one I got before I went to Vegas. So that wasn't set up as an alert on my phone. So now I double check my budget. Um, I try to check in a little bit more. And I was like, I got to continue my videos with you guys because you all are holding me accountable. It's allowing me to see where my money is going and what's due. And it stays in the front of my mind. So nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. And also, if you're new here, leave me a comment in the comment section. And so I can say hello and welcome to the Cove. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.